let's face it, most roadside attractions are a bus. Yeah, you've got the world's biggest ball of string, and then you've got the world's biggest stump. Is that a thing? It is, actually. Huh. But not today. We're at the darndest place you'll ever visit on Suvida. Everybody, I'm JR Cardenas. And I'm Vanessa Ramirez. Welcome to Su Vida. And today we're at Rooster Cogburn Ostrich Ranch, which is located midway point between Phoenix and Tucson. Yeah, the drive wasn't too bad. It was not. Actually, you slept the whole way. <laughs> it's a classic American roadside attraction, and you know, most people stop by because they're curious and they gotta stretch their legs. Yeah, but this place is a destination within itself. You definitely gotta check it out. Mm -hmm. It's worth the drive from anywhere in the state of Arizona. But also check this out, Vanessa. This is a real ostrich egg. No way! How yeah. big is the yolk? About the size of a baseball. How many people? people does it feed? Normally, about 12. Or one Vanessa Ramirez. I'll take it. That's just saving me some money. Check this out. The name Rooster Cogburn Ostrich Ranch. John Wayne made the name famous with back in the old days with the Rooster Cogburn movie and the True Grit movie. The character John Wayne played, Rooster Cogburn, is a real federal marshal and he is my great, great, great uncle. John Wayne just made the name famous, but we are the real Cogburns. This is definitely not something you're gonna find on every street corner. I don't know where else you can uh, get pooped on by rainbow lorikeets, <laughs> slobbered on by goats, there we go. <laughs> nibbled on by miniature donkeys, feed the bunnies where they nibble on you. <laughs> Of course, ostrich feeding, you gotta get bit by an ostrich because let's face it, that's the best story ever. Get stingrays, suck food right out of your hand, then close it all up with a monster truck turn. One, two, three! Three! So it's not what you find on your normal street corner, that's for sure. Now we've become known as one of the top 10 roadside attractions in America. Larry, the cable guy, came out and filmed with us, lots of different celebrities. So it's really been a fun thing and a good thing for Arizona. On the balls, Trace, go! We feel like we are spreading joy. It's a fun place for all ages. Adults come here thinking they're bringing their kids, and then the adults all turn into kids. Everyone gets to come here, and for just a little bit of time, they get to forget their problems. And that's what it's about. We get lots of different languages. And I can tell you one thing, when you're dealing with animals, this the compassion that comes out in people, and it just brings something special out in people. That is a universal language. You don't have to speak the same language. You get it. And I, I love that. Now the ostriches are just part of the fun. Uh, a very big part. You know, Rooster Cogburg Ostrich Ranch may be the only place where you can kiss a goat or get a hand hickey from a stingray. What? Are you curious? Yeah. Well then stay tuned. All right, I'm gonna feed them. Okay, let's see, let's see. Subida is brought to you by Chicanos por la Causa. Join the cause for change. You are a hungry little fella. Is this considered a snack or a treat? How fast can you eat all these? <laughs> oh my goodness. I should tell you guys that they can uh, kill a lion with one kick of the foot. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> and that's where I want to get out. <laughs> I've got a whole season to shoot here. He was just moving. <laughs> you know, I, I love the natural scent of nature. <laughs> you know, when they pee, it means it's time to go. Get out of here. Actually, that one with the black feathers, that's a male, and he was just marking his territory when he peed on you. <laughs> that's a fact. Welcome back to CV that we are hanging out at the beautiful Rooster Cockburn Ostrich Ranch. And ostriches aren't the only animals you'll see here. That's right, you also get to see their beautiful feathered friends, these gorgeous lorikeets. They are beautiful. And you know what's special about this place is that you get to interact with the animals in interesting ways. Yeah, great Instagram opportunities if you're interested. I love you too, buddy. You can almost always count on a sunny day when you visit the Rooster Cogburn Ranch because this is Arizona and sunshine is our thing. 
which makes solar energy so practical here. And if you're thinking solar, think fusion power. Solar is definitely here for the long term. As the industry continues to grow, it's actually one of the fastest growing industries in America. More and more people are learning about it and seeing that there's a much better alternative to, uh, to the regular utility. So Fusion Power, we're Arizona's number one solar provider. Uh, we install more solar than any other uh, sales company in the state of Arizona. We wanted to be able to give our customers a better option uh, where they could get a variety of products and be able to customize the pricing according to their needs rather than trying to do a cookie cutter approach. So what we do is we start out with a consultation. Every homeowner is different because every homeowner uses a different amount of power. And so we'll sit down with the customer and take a look at their energy bill and look at their consumption over the last 12 months or 24 months to see how much power they use. And that'll tell us how many panels need to go up on the roof, which at that point we'll make a design um, and then set the customer up with, uh, with, with their solar agreement. At that point we have our crew come out and they'll survey the roof. They'll take a look at the electric panel to make sure that it can support the system that we've designed. And as long as everything passes there, we'll move on to an engineered design and then send off for permit and utility application. Once we got those back, then we can get the, the customer installed and then they're off to, to see some pretty, pretty awesome savings. You have to believe in, in what it is that you're offering. And the thing that's so great about solar compared to any other product that you can sell is a, it's mathematics. If I'm spending 16 cents per kilowatt hour and now I can spend 10 cents per kilowatt hour or 8 cents per kilowatt hour, the math just means that you save the margin. Working with so many families and being able to see the effect that we're having with families and seeing them email us and send their utility bills, referring us to their friends and family, it's really a fulfilling opportunity that we have here, which is one of the reasons I feel like Fusion Power is growing so rapidly is as our friends and families and coworkers um, are participating in this process and it's a really fulfilling opportunity to be a part of Fusion Power. A lot of my customers have been able to reduce their energy costs by 50% in the summertime. I know that I have satisfied customers because, for one thing, they tell me directly, and then two, they tell others about me and how wonderful the process was and the relationship that was formed throughout uh, the process as well. I think what sets us apart from other companies is just educating our people in the right way so that they can give the right service to our customers. You really want to make sure that you're talking to someone that's a professional and an expert in the field so that you can get exactly what you're promised and the way that we work with our customers and the way that we train our people is to make sure that we're able to accomplish the end result that our customers are really looking at solar in the first place for. We'd love to sit down with you, take a look at your bill, look at your needs and show you what, what, you know, what options you have. If it makes sense, move forward with it. And if it doesn't make sense, at least you looked at it. Call us or you can go to the website and set up an appointment. We'd love to come sit down and meet with you. Vanessa, solar just makes so much sense. Much more sense than these, stingray are fish that don't look like fish and fly through the water like birds. Kind of weird, right? It is kind of weird. Yeah. Oh, look at this. They're so smooth. Ooh. I think they like me. Ah, they're putting on quite the show for you, JR. Yeah, they are. So Hank Robinson is an engraver, a father, and all around just badass. <laughs> so I'm a, I'm a, a Dremel engraver, I'm a multi-material engraver, so I do engravings in metal, wood, glass, plastics, literally anything I can get my Dremel on. Kind of known for doing out-of-the-box kind of projects, not necessarily just flat pieces of metal, you know, I'm looking for the things that have never been done before, I'm looking to do the shock and awe moments and if I don't think I can do something, that's just gonna make me wanna do it even more. So Hanro Studios came about in 2012. I love it so much. I just, I enjoyed being in the garage engraving things more than the actual job that I had, which was welding at the time. I decided one day that this is what I wanted to pursue. This is what I wanted to accomplish in life. And I gave up everything and just started engraving full time. I create anything and everything. I'm really known for, in the automotive world, for different aftermarket parts, doing full body engravings on cars and trucks. Um, I do a lot of instruments. We do Yeti cups, business signs. It can, literally can be anything and everything. So my, my favorite things to engrave actually are memorial pieces, but I just really feel 
a sense of accomplishment when I can give, you know, a family that's already gone through so much, I can give them something to remember their son or daughter or their mother, kind of, you know, obviously whoever it is, um, kind of give them the forever lasting peace that they're going to hold on to. Like, it just means a lot to me. Anything that I do with military, you know, obviously I gave 10 years of my life to that. And I've, you know, we've bled and been to war with you know what I mean, brothers of mine, and we've also lost guys too, so I definitely can relate on the emotional factor, and I know that what I'm doing for those memorials means so much more than just engraving a piece of metal. You see the happiness in their eyes, but you also see the sadness as well, and I think it's, a, it's an awesome thing that, you know, art can do that, you know, change your emotions like that. If you have it, not even necessarily with engraving, but if you have some sort of creative thought in your mind process somehow, someday, act on it. It feels so gratifying to actually do something with your own two hands. I mean, do stuff with your kids. I mean, that's the only thing I could really say. It may not be engraving, it may not be painting, but just get up and do something out of the box that doesn't involve your two thumbs and a cell phone. It's, it's an awesome world we live out. Hey, Jared, did you know that the stingrays are related to the sharks and they're also their favorite diet? Are you serious? Yeah. Isn't that cannibalism? Oh. Anyways, I wonder what they taste like. Are they good like in a taco with a tortilla or maybe grilled with a little bit of salmon and lemon? Uh, don't listen to them, little guys. Obviously, someone is hungry. We'll be back with more Savita from the Rooster Cogburn Ostrich Ranch right after this. Get in my belly. No, let's move away. I wonder if Come they on. taste like salmon. No, no, no. Or, or like salmon with stingray? Suvida Musica is powered by Mega 104.3 and 101.1 The Beat. <laughs> is one really on my head, you guys? <laughs> I can't. Really? Yeah, oh, I, I can't. can't. I'm not allowed to pet them. Hey, oh really? my god, I cannot. Hey. All right, so as you can tell, these beautiful birds are eating out of our hands. Woo! Oh, look, it's fond of my hair. How does it look? Like a hat? Love it? It's eating my hair. It's actually picking out her lice. Yeah. <laughs> my piojos. <laughs> Here you go. Uh, I've got enough, thank you. Hey, that bird looks great on you. Does it really add to my style? Yes. I need to fix this hair. It really <laughs> brings out your eyes. <laughs> oh, look, now you're matching. We're together. Oh, no. I've got so much hairspray on. This bird oh, might not be able to fly after this. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to Suvida. I'm Vanessa Ramirez. And I'm J.R. Cardenas. Okay, goats. Who doesn't love goats? Here at Rooster Cogburn Ostrich Ranch, we've seen ostriches, of course. Yes. And those parrot-looking things called lorikeets. Yes. Stingrays. And, of course, goats, which I heard you can kiss. Ah, go ahead. I'll let you do that one, J.R. Come here, gorgeous. Run, goats, run! So I got a bird. Oh, there we go. Another one. Here we go. Here we go. Here. Mm. <laughs> Brushed your teeth for me, didn't you? Hey, I just learned that GOAT stands for greatest of all time. Like the woman that holds the record for paced bicycle land speed. She's just one of the amazing women that you can read about in this month's San Diego Magazine. Check it out. The paced bicycle speed record is a cyclist surfing that pocket of wind that the vehicle that's in front of it is creating. I actually need to be tethered to the vehicle for the first at least 110 miles per hour. And the reason being is it's a single gear bicycle. I release and at that point I'm sitting in that pocket of air that is helping me because the vehicle is pushing it and the wind sort of comes back and shoves you from behind. And with that you continue to increase in speed, but the faster you go the more violent that air is becoming. The first time we attempted this record, our focus was to set the first ever women's record. And we were able to accomplish 147.7 miles per hour, which was a phenomenal speed, you know, definitely noteworthy, and a first ever women's record. But we knew we could go at least 155, if not more. And it rained that next day. Didn't even talk to each other. We showed up. We went, we're coming back next year. We're taking the overall record. 
we built upon what Shay and I had from 2016 went out there only on our third run together and did 183.9 miles an hour and accomplished beyond what we were hoping for. Everything is silent because you are so absolutely in the moment because it is life and death and it literally is a weird peaceful feeling that I just can't describe and I, I've told people it was like the faster I go the slower everything was happening and it's it's inexplainable. That's why people say, what does it feel to go that fast? I can't answer that because I didn't see fast. I saw survival and I saw literally this peaceful moment right in front of me in amongst all this event that was occurring around me. I did 183.9 miles an hour is the average of mile marker four to five. So for that entire mile it took 19 seconds. And someone did the math and went, you realize you went from one end zone of a football field to the other end zone of a football field in one second, 19 times. To be in the Women's First with San Diego Magazine was, was such an honor, to even be asked to be part of that. It was just really nice to be amongst other inspirational women and to be able to read their articles and what they had accomplished. I mean, I'm in awe of the things that they have accomplished also, and I just think it's great to be able to present to other women out there, actually anybody, man, woman, child, it doesn't matter, is to be able to do whatever you desire to do and to go after whatever your dream is. So I, I thank San Diego Magazine for highlighting that because it's just really an inspirational element that they presented to everyone. the owner of the ranch, Dana. Okay, so this has been in your family for generations. Well, actually, this is a three-generation family-owned and operated working ranch. You know, when we started opening to the public in 1999, we started with a folding table and a tent. And now look at it. Yeah, so we amazing. We had a little bit every year, but what we're about is places where families can come together, and it doesn't matter if it's a two-year-old or a 102-year-old. Yeah. Everyone has fun here, and let's face it, I saw you and JR today. <laughs> Everyone turns into a six-year-old, don't That's they? That's true. So how do you feel when you see the kids interacting here with the animals? You know, it's so cool. We got enough stresses in the world nowadays, yeah. and this gives everyone a place to interact together as a family with no electronics. And also, um, it's a place where you come and just forget the troubles of the yeah. world for a little bit of time, and I think that's magical. We truly feel like that's our calling. Here, we want you to get slobbered on, pooped on, bit, uh -huh. kissed, um, the I whole thing. I got pooped on earlier. You did here. get pooped on. By the way, you're going to have the shiniest hair in the world. Oh my morning. gosh, doesn't it mean a good luck or something? It, it, well, it does bring good luck, or it's like seeing a falling star, you have to make a wish. Okay, I don't think I made a wish at that time. You should have wished not to get pooped on. <laughs> I should have. And we're even wearing matching shirts. I know it. I love it. All right, thank you so much. We're going to have to come back again. Thank you, guys. We enjoyed having you. Hey, welcome back to Savita. We're having fun here at Rooster Cogburn Ostrich Ranch. And as you can see, it's more than just ostriches. You can pet, see, and feed these adorable miniature donkeys just like Smiley here. Yeah. Smiley, smile. Mm. <laughs> almost. Yeah, almost. It's there. Their teeth are good. Yeah. I gotta figure out a way to get Smiley home. I think my kids would love her. Oh, my dogs would get along great with Smiley. Hey, and if you love dogs and beer, then you definitely need to check out Big Dogs Brewery. We're here at Big Dogs Brewing Company. Uh, we've been part of Las Vegas since 1993. Las Vegas Boulevard in Sahara was the holy cow. And as a kid, you're not thinking beer, but you're thinking that big cow that was outside. They got their start in 1993, the original brewery in the city. Our founding owner, Tom Wiesner, he grew up in Wisconsin. And notice how brew pubs and breweries were there and how tied they were to the community. So back in the early 90s, coming here to Vegas, he wanted something like that. And then from 2002, he then made the final decision to say like, hey, let's move the brewing operations to its current location here. At the time, also the uh, founder of Big Dogs, Tom Wiesner, had passed away. And so his son, Kurt, had continued the company and then switched the name from Holy Cow to Big Dogs because his dad was known as the Big Dog. I mean, you gotta think, this, the Draft House has been here for 30 years, and we've been in the brewing industry for over 25 years, so 
uh, the type of patients that come here are like several generations. You talk to people that came here, you know, for breakfast and lunch as kids and remember, you know, watching Packer games here. It's really cool to see that there's a lot of community ties to the Draft House and to Big Dogs Brewing Company in Hull. They love um, great beer and we're always just trying to brew with our patrons in mind. We've consistently won awards at some of the biggest national and world competitions. Not only at uh, the Great American Beer Festival, which really for um, American brewers is the most important awards that you can win. We've won World Beer Cup Golds, so saying basically the best beer brewed in the, in the world for two years. So it's the Olympics of beer. And then in 2016 and 2017, we won a bronze for the Belgian style triple and then a gold um, for the Belgian style triple. So to win an award for the same beer two consecutive years um, was phenomenal. Red Hydrant is probably our most award-winning beer easily. I mean, we've won several medals for that beer. So when you walk into Big Dogs, you can get great food 24 hours a day and you can get fresh beer. If you come in, people are going to remember you and know your name. And we have great comfort food and great beer here. You know, we're always constantly searching for what's available to us and what's the best uh, ingredient available to us. So from hops to barley to, I, I mean, you name it, even certain brewing equipment that can help us, uh, you know, produce better beer. We're always looking at stuff like that. So Big Dogs, we're really fortunate that the community supports us so much and our growth is really based on the Las Vegas locals demanding our beer and drinking more of our beer. And we just continue to grow and um, we're just, we hope that they continue to support us. Hey, we've had a great time here today at Rooster Cog and Ostrich Ranch. Yeah, and before you go, make sure you stop by the gift shop. They have a whole bunch of cool items, just like our t-shirts we're wearing. I have the ostrich shirt, and JR is wearing his girlfriend on his shirt. She's an amazing kisser, what can I say? Yeah, and look at this feather duster. It's really ostrich festivals, and it does a great job. You could put it to good use at your house. Mm -hmm. Make sure you come out here. It's worth the drive every single time. Yeah, it's definitely a super place for the kids, but we had a fabulous time as well. Yes, Vanessa, I heard that if you look into an ostrich egg, you can see the stars. I don't think that's going to happen. Hey, you continue doing that. We'll see you next time on Su Vida. JR? Oh, I see ripples. I'm going to go see Smiley. I think that's Saturn.